everyone, Dave RBO here. I'm going to give a quick demonstration on how a trans brake works. So what a trans brake does, it puts the uh, transmission in forward and reverse at the same time. So all the energy is being held inside the transmission so you don't have to put your foot on the brake. So I'm going to do a quick stall test. This car's got a three grand stall in it. So um, I'm going to try and stall it up. We'll see how much stall we get out of it. Uh, while my foot's on the brake and that'll give us a bit of an idea of uh, what the converter's rated to stall wise and when we brake traction because uh, we can't hold the brake any longer so we'll bring it up that's spinning the wheels there about 2800 pretty close to 3000 if you watch the um, e-boost probably just on zero still so we're not making any boost so I'm going to put the um, trans brake on now this is a 4L60E with a trans brake the trans brake button here I'm going to put the trans brake on which will put the transmission in reverse and first at the same time so what I'm going to do is bring it up so we should overstall the converter because we can accidentally put more load on it so watch the thing now So it's four and a half thousand out of a three thousand converter. My foot was not on the brake. Watch the boost. Seven pounds of boost. So if I let it go as well, we'll start moving. So there you go. Why run a trans brake so we can get extra load on the converter and make more boost with the same size stall so we don't have to load the brake and it makes it a lot easier to launch it at high rpm and high boost thanks for listening uh talk to you soon catch ya